Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, we are going to be tackling another book nook. Uh, but this one's from a company that uh, I haven't used before. Uh, it's called Mini Mini City, I think that's what it says. Um, so the book nook looked kind of interesting and everything. So I figured I'd just give them a shot and see. I've been kind of looking for some uh, different ones that I don't normally see and everything. So, uh, try to maybe give them a shot. And then, uh, of course, the, the box doesn't show the what it looks like, but I'll give you uh, kind of a little glimpse of uh, kind of what it looks like on the book. And it's called the Beyond Library. <laughs> of course, working with another library, and of course, somebody's awake, so she's bugging me. So, but that kind of what it looks like, which is interesting. Um, and uh, definitely has a lot more elements than what we normally have. And uh, we'll just go through and somebody will take us through each of the boards and everything. So, uh, just kind of going through. I mean, definitely has a lot of pieces. But just like the other ones, I mean, you know, they're all stained, different colors. And uh, as you can see, these, which is funny, they actually have a lot of books that are already printed. But then there's a lot of actual books as well, which is not going to be fun. So... Uh, so we have that, and then uh, we actually have this little plastic sheet. Uh, looks like it's like uh, edges of stairwells um, that you'll be popping out and bending at certain points to put next to you know onto stairs and everything. So, and, and it's see-through. I just have it on the paper so it doesn't get cat hair as much on it. But uh, so that's a little you know thin plastic. Uh, pieces that you'll be popping out which is kind of interesting and then it has four sheets of uh, stickers for books and everything so that's like I said not gonna be fun and then uh, of course as your light up your touch sensors and everything uh, this actually little has little glass globe inside of it it's, uh, I think we light that up so that should be kind of cool and then here's the little uh, like sticker tabs to tape down the wires and everything and then uh, we also have this little plastic piece, uh, which not for sure what it's going to be used for, but again, interesting. And they actually give you a little set of tweezers to kind of help putting some of the small pieces in and everything. Out of the way, out of the way. Okay, and then uh, and for the first time uh, from any of the book nooks I've ever done, they actually give you glue. And this one's actually kind of cool because the... Uh, if you take the tip off, it has an, an actual like little pin to poke down into the nozzle to free any glue that might be in there. So that was kind of cool. So um, so if and I'll go ahead and use it, and uh, if it works out pretty good, then uh, I may you know see if I can get more of this and everything. So but uh, definitely interesting to have the uh, you know glue be in the book nook. Because just haven't seen that in any of them and everything. And then, of course, it comes with the dust cover as well. So, just to help keep all the dust out and everything. So, but, so, yeah, so that's that's all the pieces. I mean, it has a lot to it. And then, and then the instruction book's different as well. It uh, breaks it down with, uh, you know, all your, which pieces you're going to be doing and everything and it has the colors but still it's a different way than normally and everything so definitely a lot more uh, instructions on what pieces to do first and everything so um, so yeah so it's uh, definitely uh, interesting but uh, I mean I like how it looks and everything so it's um, I mean should be uh, we'll see how it goes I mean but I mean I always like to try different companies and just see what new stuff that they uh, put in their book nooks and everything and you know see uh, see how they look after they're done so um, and of course that's why I have cat hair everywhere <laughs> yes that's why I have cat hair everywhere so but uh, as always uh, if you like my videos please like share subscribe leave comments hit that notification bell get more videos once I get them out and again I'm you know, I'm not getting out as many as I usually do, but, uh, you know, at least, you know, I try to get them when I can, you know, with life gets in the way and everything. So, but, um, but, uh, so with that, we will get started.
<clears throat> first couple steps, and I'll kind of show you in the book, or in the instructions, they want you to put all the books together. <clears throat> and it tells you which wood piece to get, you know, M4, which was like a whole big O section, and then M6 is the small section with the tabs. And then these are like the, the bigger, bigger sized um, book covers. <clears throat> and then these then, or no, one was the smaller size book covers. And then uh, papers two, three, and four, those are the bigger size book covers. And it does the same. So it doesn't tell you like how many to do. It just gives you that. So I went ahead and just did all <clears throat> of the wood pieces that was there because I had probably three or four extra uh, actual paper or book covers and everything. So, and just kind of show you like, that's how many of the small ones. And then here's with the tabs, you know, it was like six. And then of the bigger ones, there's like only like, like two tabs. And there's all these right here. <laughs> so, so you definitely have a lot of books. Uh, for this one, this is the most books I've ever uh, put together. But again, it's good that there are stickers and not, you know, regular paper that you have to glue. So it makes it go a lot easier and everything. So, get here. Um, but I'll still show you kind of, you know, how to how I put them on and everything. But I just show you the volume of each type and everything. So I'm just gonna uh, move these back over out of the way and. I'm guessing once we get to those specific steps, then it, you know it'll tell you how many books to grab for each one and everything like that. So these are uh, the, the bigger ones, extras that I have left over. So I'm going to use two, so I'll have two extra. And it don't really matter which ones you use, anything like that. So, and they should fit. And you may have a little overlap, but they should fit almost perfectly. But you just kind of line it up, make sure it's level with the piece, and then just fold it around, get the spine on there, and then just, just fold it around. And again, may have a little overlap, <clears throat> which is fine, um, as long as it's flat on the bottom, or you can use a you know, little uh, craft knife or exacto knife, whatever, and then just, just trim the edges off if you need to. And then I've got another one that I'll just do real quick. And again, just kind of the same thing, just kind of line it up. Just press. And just turn around. There you go. So just like that. So so that's how you do those uh, the book covers. So it's pretty pretty simple. And then the next thing it wants you to do is uh, there's three pieces of paper that are identified as scrolls on the one of your paper covers, which I cut down because I didn't need the rest. It was all book covers, but you got little sections that tell you the name of the papers that you're going to be using just to identify them <clears throat> for those steps. So the scrolls, you've got three papers for that. And I'd done this previously in uh, another model. What I had done, it wants you to roll them up. And since they're sticky, it's hard to kind of roll it, um, you know, without anything kind of inside of it to, to shape it and everything like that. So I'd already done these two already. And so what I had done uh, is I actually used a toothpick because it was almost like the perfect size or for diameter of, of what they want you to do it as, <clears throat> you know, for the uh, shape of everything. So, so what you do, and then the other two are kind of on the long end where this one, it's, yeah, they want you to go kind of long way. So, the best way to do it is just make sure it's lined up straight on the toothpick. Okay. And then just slowly start rolling it and pressing it down until you get back to the front. And just make sure these, are, the edge is all the way down. And then, and then you just roll it all the way. <clears throat> 
just roll it on through until it's nice and tight and everything. And then to get rid of the edges, <clears throat> again, just use the craft. Go right up to the edge. Just press down, get rid of that edge. And then get the other side here, press down, and get rid of that edge. And if you want, you could always use the same, you know, if it's not even, you can just, you know, use your sandpaper to smooth it out. Uh, toothpick's easy to sand and everything, so, and then uh, just to make it smooth, you're not going to hurt the paper or anything like that, so, but there you go. So that's how you make your little scroll and everything, that way it's, <clears throat> you know, you got something inside of it where if you roll it with nothing in the middle and you accidentally squeeze it and then, it, you know, it presses it in and then it sticks to itself and then all kinds of issues. So, so there you go. There's all your books. There's your three scrolls. And you just probably have to just put them somewhere until they are called upon later on and everything. And then uh, also you want to just make sure to test your... Uh, your battery or your lights just throw some batteries in there and then hit the touch switch and see if all the lights come on which I already did and mine are all good and then I would recommend taking the batteries out because every time you hit that touch sensor it's gonna turn the lights off and on and it'll just be um, annoying when you're trying to put it in and everything so uh, it looks like we're gonna be starting with the cabinet per se or something I don't know we'll see okay so so I'm not going to see how these go in first before I attempt to use any glue. And uh, they're tight, so I'm not going to use any glue. <laughs> and that's what I usually do is um, I just see how tight something goes in. And if it's uh, pretty tight, like this one is, being, <sighs> then uh, I'm not worried about it coming out. So um, that's why I usually don't bother with the glue. And then you have your L6 piece that's going to go into here. It's going to go like that. A little wobbly, but I'm not too worried about it. And then you get your other piece. And then try to line up everything. and Press this in. And if you need to hit a flat surface, this doesn't... Uh, Appear as tight, but I think it's still okay. But this is a pretty big cabinet, so I don't know how big this book is going to be. But man, I screwed this all up. Hang on a second. Okay, so that's the right way. Oh my goodness, I am starting this off good. There we go. Okay, make sure you got your two ends pointing in the same direction. <laughs> you know you're doing it right. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Now, here we go. Now I know what I'm looking at. Okay, so from the back, you got your M5. Looks like it's going to go into here. Get your little tab. Oh, that's like super loose right there. So let me actually... Throw some glue on that one. Use this uh, first time using this glue that it came with. Let's see how this is. I got I like the little fine tip point. A little bit on the inside here. Okay. Uh, let's see how fast that dries, which might be pretty quick. I guess I should have put some right there. So you're not really putting a lot on, but with this tip and everything, but it's still not too bad. Like I said, you may not need a lot. 
Okay. So you got that on there. And then you got L34. Which goes to here. See how this uh, seems pretty tight. Not the cap. Yeah, that ain't going nowhere. And L30. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Hard to tell. And then L1 will go on to the bottom. Level them off. This bottom piece, you can glue it in if you want. It's pretty much going to be sitting down onto the base of your book nook, so it ain't really going to go anywhere. But So, not too bad. Okay, so now the fun part, putting a bunch of stickers on. And I think this is what your, uh, your little angle tweezers are going to be used for. So, in the instructions, it tells you to get uh, paper two, you get your drawings, which is these two right here, and then your sketches, which is pretty much all of these right here, and we're going to be placing them in this section right here. So, I would start with the drawings up top. Yeah, just kind of place it in the middle. here they don't have to be perfect or anything but let's just make sure it's pressed down really good just so it makes it a lot easier okay and I, I'm guessing you can arrange them however you want and everything so but I'm going to, as I always do, just follow what it looks like on the instructions. Start with the big one. Get this one going. Right in the middle here. Put another one. This one can go just kind of up here. Show uh, what I see. So, at least in the same general direction or area and everything. So, uh, but. I've got fat fingers, so it's hard to kind of get them in. And you just go through each one until you until you get them all in. So just however you want to do it. Let's see here. One up top. Okay, and let's see here. Throw one right there. Uh, like I said, it's good to kind of see what uh, other companies have to offer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, just 
always up here in the corner. It's too far in the corner. Didn't want it not. Okay, I guess it's going there. Didn't really want it that far in the corner, but that's all right. Okay, so that's all the sketches and the drawings going on to that one. So, not too shabby, you know. So, and again, I think something's going to go here that's going to be like another shelf or maybe something there. That'll, so, you don't want to put anything below this bigger sticker and everything like that. So, then you get your two stickers up there. And I mean, shelf is a little loose, but yeah, maybe I should have uh, glued it. But I'm okay with not doing it. So, we've got our next pieces out, which is actually uh, using some of the books and everything. So, and uh, I just show, has a list of books and it says to use books C. And if you go back to where it talks about you know, making the books, you'll see book C is the bigger book cover sections that don't have the tab. So, um, so use those <clears throat> and it doesn't give you a number, but what I did was I actually, uh, placed them by how it was looking. Cause it looks like they want you to have them where you see the spine, you see the front or they're laying flat. So I went ahead and did a certain number to see what looks good with the picture and everything so just to to help you out so this is what i did and I'll, i won't put the books in yet but uh, i'm just showing you this first so the ones where you see the spine or see the front the ones where you see the front use four books and i already glued these together and this is uh just like always you just get one book you put uh some glue on the front on the corners and then you other, you put the other book right on top of it, and you just hold it there, hold it there until it dries and everything. And then, and so uh, the one books, if they're sitting, you know, flat, laying down flat, you use four books for that one. And then the other one, where you see the spines, <clears throat> you use seven books. I want to put together. This looks like a piano, and this looks like a little radio or something that uh, they want you to put together. So, because the glue <clears throat> seems to work okay, but it seems to take a little longer to dry than the other glue I had. So, it just may take you a little bit uh, longer to get things done. But with this, the radio part, uh, with this, you just put this onto here. Straight if you can. Not going anywhere. And then the bottom part is the um, the piece you're going to have to glue on. Because it's not really uh, sitting too well. So, And then I would just kind of set it down. And then just let it dry. Because it'll... Uh, Uh, you may uh, push it off or uh, <clears throat> move it around if you don't. Okay, so first thing, so we got a little typewriter, a little flat piece. It's going to go right here. So, so it's just tab, it goes down, so not too worried about it. And that radio is going to go into the hole there, so that's why, <clears throat> you know, I was saying about not putting things too far down and everything, so... Okay, so now with the books. So, and I just got this at an angle so you can kind of see. So with the books, I'm going to throw some glue on the back and the bottoms. Without trying to let's see here. Yep. So, and these are your ones where you see the spines. And if you have some books that are <clears throat> sticking out a little or... Um, not straight that is totally fine like this one it's not totally straight so so i'm just gonna push that all the way back 
I'm gonna wait for that to dry. These are facing forward. Okay, and just try to push it down to get it to stick, but again, not worried about it if it don't. Okay, so and you can actually put uh five books on here if you want, you know, five or six, but um, I just did I just did the four. Okay. So this is get that in there. Again, I'm still you know figuring this glue out and everything, so I don't know how it's all gonna stick and all that, but and those in there like that and there you go so so yeah I mean you can add an extra book here if you want just to make everything level or <clears throat> not make a level to give it some dimension and stuff so but <sighs> once you put this top on you could actually could have went ahead and put this on to the back and then you could have glued this bottom to here and then you went ahead to worried about it um, falling off or anything like that so let me just see how this is going to go in. Uh, so, okay, so, so it kind of fit, but that's something else that you could do as well. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, setting it somewhere to dry. You can just push the top part in and then glue this to the bottom here and to the back. And then that way it's already there. So, okay, so here's your, um, your books and your typewriter and little radio or some type of device. I can't really tell what it is, but so, so not looking too bad. Okay. So we get our next pieces out. So I know earlier I'd kind of talked about taking the batteries out of the, uh, your lights and everything, but uh, I may want to go ahead and put them back in because we're putting the lights in. I imagine that. Okay. So, when you first get these, they're all kind of tangled together and everything. So I would definitely try to separate the touchpad with the other lights. And then when you get to the actual lights themselves, try to separate the three smaller sizes to the from the two bigger sizes. Because the three smaller ones are going to be part of this next step. Or at least going into this hole that's right here. And so the two bigger ones and the touchpad are just, just put them somewhere else and everything so um but it's just and try to straighten the cords try to bend them the other way of you know what was there and everything but just kind of kind of get everything you know as best you can out of the way and everything and then on the smaller ones i use one of the little tape pieces that i taped kind of the by the base of where it's separated just to kind of keep them together for now but i may remove it may not i don't know so they want you to, if I can get this on here, this is where the battery is going to stay. It's kind of right there. It's not going to go anywhere or anything. So there be two. Okay. So, so you're going to take your three smaller lights and put them into the hole right here. And again, if, if the, battery pack doesn't stay on here so be it or whatever but just do the best you can for now because all this will kind of somewhat be back here i don't know and then the smaller of the three is going to go into this little hole right here and so what you want to do is kind of grab it at the end at the end right here and bend to 90 as best as you can and then and then put that into the hole right here and then what they want you to do don't think this is going to stay this way or not is um, use some tape to put it in 
but I may actually try to use some of the glue I'm just you know just a test um, how strong this glue is because I've done that with some other ones before other models and we're gonna see if this is gonna hold or not so because we're gonna be working on something else while this is sitting here drying and if you want to add a tape piece I guess you can add a tape piece it'll see even if you have it right here kind of go down well, I guess it will I still don't mind putting the glue on there that way I know if the tape comes up and it'll uh, you know hold it there so okay so get some glue the tapes somewhat holding it for now so we'll see what happens Not too much, but just a little bit. And doesn't really say kinda Okay, yeah, so you want the the um the side that has a longer distance in between the tab, because you see like a shorter distance and then longer distance, so the longer distance will be in the back, not the front. So now the, the fun part is getting all these to fit on this side. I'll just, okay, let's do that again. Okay, so we got that one in, got that one in, that one in, and that one in. Push all those in, okay. Let's make sure it's straight. Somewhat. Using your groove right here. It's just a battery. And these should slide. Right down like so. Which Okay, and then yep. Got little tabs here in the back. They'll go down into. Kind of stand. I definitely recommend uh, the glue, just so it doesn't uh, pop up or anything. So, like so. Okay, so we'll just let that sit for a second. Taking all the cords out of the way. This going to end piece. You have like the non stain side here, and it looks like they want you to have the stain side here, which don't make sense. I'm just looking at the picture, but I don't think you're going to see it anyway. And then the non stain side facing in again with this one. Like I said, I think it's better to put this together first before putting on the main piece and everything. And then the stain side will go right like that. So that's a glue here. And I just I gotta get that on. Okay. So then since everything is on now, now it's gonna be put in any of these three holes. Should look something. Oops, there we go. Something like that. Okay. I don't know why they want you to have the 
stay in, stay inside and not stay inside showing, but uh, that in, and throw that in, and that in, like so. Okay, and I'm just gonna. Glue there. These you won't be able to put in from the top. You'll have to put in from the side. And they're evenly spaced, so it doesn't really matter which way they go. But you gotta push them in from the side. And then do the same for the other side. Then, let me just lay it flat. Then, these will pop right. Those will pop in like that. And these will pop in like so. Okay. Just gonna squeeze them together, let them dry. Okay, just slides right in. Don't uh, really connect to nothing. Okay, so you get your three steps and then. You have your main floor, and these will go right here and on in the tab, and right there. I'm not even worried about gluing; <laughs> they're not uh, not going anywhere. And you have this is going into here. Your J3 needs some glue, hopefully. Put that in there. Okay. This is going to go... Where's it going to go? Right here. It's going to go... Yep. So, right in the tabs right there. And then, just flipping it over. Okay, so we'll deal with this one first. Uh, and I don't think it really matters where you have it or anything. Sorry, I'm just trying to get a good angle here. Uh, it don't really matter where you have, but try to at least get it to lay flush and I may throw some uh, some glue in this area here just so it'll be holding it just in case if um, you know tape comes up or whatever at least it'll be there And then if you want to cut any excess off or whatever, that's fine too. Like I said, I don't think nobody's going to, nobody's going to see nothing. So, that glue should hold it. Okay. Then, you're going to be sticking this up here. And what it looks like, and what they're saying is they don't want it to go any higher than this right here. So, let me just bend 
found it, and then I like holding this not the correct way here. You know, I'm just kind of you know you could tape it on the bottom. And I'll push it up. Just so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm just I'm just taping it to the other one here. Not too worried about uh, anybody seeing it or whatever, but then you know the light's not going anywhere. But I'm just gonna move the cord around just so it doesn't get in the way of the other light here. Okay. So so that's what I did there. You got the light bent, 90, just taped, taped. And then the other cord is running up into the hole. And I wouldn't just, it says not to go past the, your little wooden piece here. So just, I just lean it right up against it to where it doesn't go above it. And then just tape it right here. And then I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. But, but that's kinda how your uh, upper floor should look and everything is. We are gonna be putting it on a little floor right here. So it goes into the back and I'm just oh well that just dropped right in, didn't it? Okay, so okay. And there with the Okay, so I'm just gonna set this down. Put this back. Okay. Try to hold everything back here so you can kind of see the how tall up it is with everything else, upper floor, everything. So not too shabby. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we got next. Okay, so we got our next pieces out. Looks like we're gonna be building some walls, and we're actually gonna be putting some stickers. It looks like um, curtains. Or something on them so uh, it should be interesting not for sure how this is going to look but i'm just throwing some glue in here to just get it to stick really good so i try to dry fit it to see how it would uh see if it was going to be tight or not and it wasn't <laughs> so that's why i'm throwing the glue in thing so And then you're just gonna have to just line up the walls as you're putting them in. But yeah, as long as we're all the way down and then you just line up the walls as best you can. And then what we're gonna do is um, We're going to put these stickers on now if you want you can always leave these on and let them dry before you mess with the stickers that way you know um, that nothing's going to get messed up or anything like that so it's totally up to you on what you want to do you're going to be using one of your paper or your paper stickers it's going to be p5 and what they tell you is to go ahead and fold it, you know, bend it in half because uh, the corner here is going to go down half, you know, in the middle of this of this curtain. So I kind of cut it out as close as I could and then folded it in half and eh, somewhat kind of worked. But if nothing else, you can lay it flat, get something very thin to go from the middle up here down to the middle of here and then fold it over. I mean, you don't need to do it completely, but as long as you have some type of bend, just so you can uh, put it on there. But if it's not in the middle, I think you're fine. Lines, as you see, up here at the top. And you're going to use uh, those lines as your basis, your baseline to put the sticker. And it's, and it, it's okay if you're off just by a little bit and it's okay if you're um, if it's not perfectly straight 
because you're going to have another sticker to go over top the top and everything. So, but the main thing is just trying to get this centered to where you cover that this is this covers the uh, the gap and everything and you just press it just kind of push both sides in like I said the curtain is just covering the gap that's all it is that's why they kind of want you to bend it a little you know at least make sure that it's you know these are right on an edge and then uh, the sticker will, will kind of hold it so not too shabby not the best way uh, that I wanted to do it but uh, better than nothing I guess okay oh, I get my finger off of it and then get your middle get your middle make sure it's right on in the corner and then just press that in and just press right in the middle going all the way up and then you can use your finger so I mean this is like the curtain this is like the upper part of the curtain so do the same just the big one 13 just follow the line to where you don't see it and you may go over just a little I think on either side which is fine because the other stickers will, will cover it as well but as long as you cover the line where you don't see just like that and then 15 or 14 will go on the left and this the the long stickers are actually holding the, all the pieces in really well so so cover the line just make sure you don't go over on the edge over here make sure you don't go past that eh, it's not straight but it's alright I'm, I'm okay with that and that'll go kind of right there so yeah so the sides <laughs> sides we're going to see the line just a little bit so probably should have raised that up a little bit more but you got to do the got to do the the middle first well I guess maybe you don't really need to do the sides first and then do the middle that way you know this will match those two and you don't see the lines but Again, I don't think nobody's going to notice that or anything, so, but that's the way it should look. With the curtains in the middle and then the curtain tops up here. And uh, just may have to press them down a little bit uh, a couple of times to get them to, to stick really good, so. But that's how, that's how it should look, so. So. So I don't know if these will go in really nice and tight or if I'm going to have to. But these two pieces are going to go. Yeah, I guess I'll just throw a little bit. A little bit of glue in. And they say glue, glue never hurts. Top. Make sure it is. Let's see. Make sure it's goes on like so. I don't think you need to glue this. It's in here. 
going on pretty tight. So you got your table on. Then it wants you to, with your H23, looks like with your, with the pointy end facing you, yeah, it'll go right here in this hole, which uh, is kind of easy going there. Okay, and they want you to put a piece of paper, so, let's see, so just, it looks like it fits it pretty even, so, make sure it fits on there good. three other pages that they want you to put on it from your other one your pages on your paper two pages a but you only need there's four of them but you only need one or uh, you only need three of them so and they're just kind of scattered throughout What I got. Okay. Okay. So Yeah, so that one should look something kind of like that. And then we're just gonna set that aside right now. Now we're gonna do the telescope. And they're staying on both sides, so uh, I don't really, I don't think it really matters which way you go, but um, yeah, and these go in like super easy, so I would just throw a little bit of glue on the sides. Sure. Each of them are good. Yeah, that is the reason why they made this uh, tip super small because <laughs> you're definitely uh, putting uh, glue into small, small. So just start with one. the other ones to line up right I should just put some glue right in there there we go so there's your okay so now with your our floor that we did now you see Okay, so I would say start in the back. That one to slide in, and then that one to slide in, and then this front one to slide in. 
just make sure they're all glue there and a little glue there. So That's why you, your telescope and probably astronomy stuff look like, and you got your room, you know, your curtains and everything. Look in, and then it looks like what you're gonna do, grabbing your other big room, which you know what we just did, and this is gonna go into the right on top of the steps here, and this is just going to slide. Then throw some glue in here. There. So to sit in too. There we go. Okay. So you got to make sure that uh, it fits into the little groove that's in the side right here as well on both sides. Make sure it fits in there. It'll get it a little tighter. Kind of straight. That way you don't really see a gap in between these two and these two. And then that should fit right in there. So so again, just make sure that that little gap that's on this wall, make sure that you just push that in and make sure and it'll lock in on both sides and then you won't see a gap along the wall right here. So if you don't see a gap, then you know it's good. But if you see a gap, then you may need to push that in a little bit more and then everything else just slid right in there. So, but yeah, so there she is. So. This is going to be a fun part, per se. Okay, so we got our next pieces out. K10, 2, 3, 4. So you want it and stay inside facing up. And then you want to put these facing towards you. As you put them in, they're going in pretty tight. So I'm not worried about uh, gluing them in. Yeah, those are in there pretty tight. Okay, so... Should look like that, or you get your stain stuff coming. Okay, so then this is, oops, this is gonna go next show and pretty much fit in all the grooves that are here. So I am going to put some glue in each one. So then it's just. Line up the holes, pressing them in. Just making sure they're good and flush. And push down all the way. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to put a rug on these steps here going up. So, shouldn't be too difficult. Um, the only problem is it's, it's straight and there's no way you can make the bends to make it fit or anything. So, um, but it looks like it ends, it ends down at this point and then any excess can, you know, can go over top of this right here. So the only thing we can do, that's P20, right? Yep. The only thing we can do is just start it at the bottom and work our way up. So I'm going to just place it there and we're just going to make sure that it is nice and flush and everything. And then have it go down, kind of. Get the 
actually let me put the let me put this cover on the metal tips kind of tend to scratch the okay Sure, it's straight. Okay, and then just kind of work your way till it's straight, straight up. And then and just keep going up until you reach the top. It's like perfect right at the edge of the chair, the edge of the table there. It's like it was meant to be or something. Then I'm just, just lightly, just pushing them down. I have a feeling it's probably going to uh, pop back up or something. I'm just making sure the sticky stuff is just down there good. Okay, wow. Actually looks pretty good. Actually wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be, but uh, still not too bad. We are using the clear plastic pieces, like the stair rails. I think it's what they're representing and everything. So digging these out, um, it's the same as the wood. You just kind of have to find where the tab is and and push out right where the tab is not to press too hard and then once you get it out the since it's plastic and uh it's a you know the tab is a little rough i used a crafting a craft knife or exacto knife and i just went through and just kind of scraped it to where it was smooth so it wouldn't uh you know poke anything or whatever but these have little uh dotted lines for you to fold it at certain points um, because it looks like it's going to go around a corner of the steps and then kind of angle around and then there's little holes here uh, for it to fit on. Just have this go like that and then this piece go like that and just make sure you're bending it the right way before you bend it because I have a feeling if you bend it the incorrect way and you try to fix it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. And then it goes like that, and then just like a little angle. And then you can always work with the tabs once you figure out kind of where they go, which it looks like. Yeah, the tabs are just like right there. So start down at the bottom those in and make sure the one here by the steps goes in okay and it should go right up to the steps and then you got to thought I broke something okay there we go okay now I see that the stairs are a little may have to just kind of adjust them a little bit so they're not bowed um, But don't bend it too much because you don't want it to uh, pop or anything like that. So I would just kind of okay. So that's how it should look. I'm just kind of push it down into the tab. Okay, so and push these down. Make sure they're right in there. 
And again, just make sure the stairs are straight. If you got like a little bow or something, then just try to bend it the opposite way to get it straight. But that's how it should look. A little stairwell. So actually don't look too bad. Might have been on the other one, but okay. So step, things on the stairs are straight. It's right on the carpet. Just pushing everything down. All right, there you go. So there's your little glass railing for your stairs going up to the top and everything. So not looking too bad. And there's your top. I have a feeling there's going to be a light going in there since there's a hole. So we'll see. They broke down the build into like four different parts. And these steps right here are the last steps for part one, which I think each part is a wall. So I think after this, then we're done pretty much with the back wall and everything, except for probably the lights and all that. So, all right. So this first step is putting on yeah, this little piece here. See if that, just, that just pops right on there. So here, and looks like the, you want the longer, yeah. So the thicker feet to go on the bottom, because that's where that, yeah, okay. So then it looks like these go these go kind of right here, which yeah, they're going in pretty tight, so but you want the bigger feet on the bottom. those in and then all of these will go on top of here I think they will fit in pretty pretty okay so just start with one go to the next go to the next and the last one. If you need to push it on, there we go. Set it on a flat surface. Make sure it's good to go. And that is it. That's it. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, hang on. I want the, oh yeah, yeah. So now we're going to be messing with our uh, little clear pieces again. Should be kind of fun. So this time, this uh, in eight. Put that one in, put those in. Yeah. I don't think they are. There we go. There we go. Just had to get them in there a little bit. Okay. So there's what that one looks like. Just, so you don't have to bend nothing on that one. See, and this is what happens when you leave the touch sensor out. Okay. And 16 is, yep, okay, so, so for this side here, so in 16, you want to fold it going down the stairs. Put that in if possible, but. See, there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Got that in. So seventeen. That in and that in. Just goes right in. That one went a lot easier. So with the wall or with this back wall. So, and then just to 
I know I had the lights on, but that's kind of what they look like with the one on top. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's right on the middle there. And you got the ones on the bottom on the shelf, and then the one underneath that'll show whatever's going on under here and everything. So, so, but so that's part one. Okay, so we got our next pieces out, and uh, full disclosure, the auto, <clears throat> the audio for these this next steps uh, was lost or just didn't record. So I'm having to re-record the audio for this uh, for this these next builds. So uh, right now, this is just going over each of the uh, shelves uh, for this cabinet we're putting together, and these are H four, five, and six, and uh, I separated them you know for each of the items that are going on to it and, and for each one there was like a wooden book and then uh one of the pages sticker pages that goes onto each one and so i had put those uh you know what goes onto each one uh, right next to it so i you know wouldn't mess it up or anything like that and so i'm just going through here just you know gluing each piece and then the wooden and then the pages i just glued the spine to get it to stick on and everything and then here shortly you'll you'll see that i, I screwed up and everything and uh that I, I i eventually find out later so um but i just show this first one and then um go on to the next ones which you see right there so now um i'll go over and then these are the pages that you get you know paper two uh, pages B, it looks like, and then um, when you pull it out, it's kind of a long sheet, and then there's lines separating each section, and so what you do uh, is you find the line, you know, the, the blank end, and then uh, you just get it and uh, fold it, fold it back on itself to where you go, you know, to the middle of uh, those two pages that have printed material on it, and they just kind of line it up, make sure it's all straight, and they just stick it to, it to itself, and then you just repeat the process. For the other side, you just bend it back on itself, find the middle, you know, and just line it up, make sure it's straight top and bottom, and then just stick it to itself. And then what I'd try to do is uh, just kind of fold it and then bend it back to kind of make it look like it's, uh, you know, being red, you know, it kind of has like a little arch to it and everything. And then, um, but that's why I did it for each of those pages. And then of course, just glued, uh, the spine, uh, to put it on the shelf. And then, uh, each of these shelves are different, uh, widths because, uh, since one is on top of the other, they want it you know, the uh, bottom one to be sticking out further than the one above it and everything. So that's why you have to put them in certain order uh, onto the sides, just so you can see the second and third row shelves and everything. And so right here is where I kind of figure out that I did something wrong. And as you see, I didn't have the tabs at the top I had them at the bottom and so since they weren't at the top then the shelves weren't sticking out the way they should so I go about just moving all the books and the papers <laughs> to the opposite side of where they need to be so you just want to make sure that the tabs are at the top before you start putting stuff on and right here I just cut to uh, you know where I just fixed all the all the shelves and er, and everything so uh, so now since they're all fixed now I can go ahead and uh, put the shelves where they need to go and then it was uh, usually I think it was like six and then h4 and then h5 I think it was like six four five you know going from top to bottom I believe is the way it went and uh, I didn't use any glue because I was, you know, since I was using two sides and a kind of a top that was going to secure it. Um, I just didn't decide to use any glue with this. So, but as you can see, you know, each shelf is a little, you know, sticking out a little bit more than the one above it. 
and everything just so you can kind of see what's there so but um and then here, I just go ahead and just put the other side of that shelf in there. Just making sure the stain side is facing out. For you to see. And then, after you get that other side in, then we get the top. Just make sure that, you know, it's facing the right direction. And just, you know, it doesn't, it was uh, super tight to get on, so I didn't want to, didn't need to use any glue for that one. But the back piece, I definitely needed some glue. And you and you want to make sure that the stain side is facing inside, even though you're really not going to see it because of the shelves and everything. But still, um, just make sure the stain side is facing in. Just throw some glue in the tabs, and then just press it on there. And then there's like a little kickboard that you put on the bottom. And then uh, this one was tight as well that you really didn't need to throw any glue on. Um, but uh, but once you get it in there, if it gets a little too tight. Uh, to push down then uh, you can always use uh, some pliers or whatever so and so now this is just putting all the stuff on top of it you get the little skeleton dinosaur skeleton that goes on and I think the company did a good job with uh, making the holes a little bigger for the pieces so you're not having to push or force in anything that goes into it so you don't break anything and so you, after the skeleton it was one of the uh, books the uh, books B, and that was the uh, the smaller uh, paper, smaller cover books with the tabs. And I didn't use any glue with that one because usually all of those went in really, really good. They weren't too loose or anything. And then this next piece was just like a little statue or something that goes in front of the book. So just use a little bit of glue and then just put that one on there. Just pressed it down. So... Um, and then once you get all those done, then we're going to be putting on, uh, one of the other books, which was books a, which is one of the smaller books, smaller cover books. And it doesn't matter which one you get, just, just grab one and then just put it on there. And you really didn't need to worry about if it's sticking out the back or not, because you're not putting it against the wall or anything. So just stick it on there how you need to. And then this next part, it you know takes a little bit because they want you to fold this long like newspaper uh, page uh, a certain way. It's pretty much um, you know straight in some areas, but they wanted you to fold it like two like two angled uh, two pages that are like angled up into like uh, pyramids and everything. So this was just going to the first one. You know, just kind of folding the page back on itself and then finding the next line and folding it down. But you didn't want to fold it too far because you didn't want it sticking to itself. And then once you did that, then having to find the next line, uh, you know, and just repeat the process. But it was just hard since it's all sticky and it sticks to everything. So you're trying not to, uh, you know, stick it to it. You know, you try not to stick it to itself. But then it's also sticking to everything, so you're just having to, you know, do the best you can to try to fold it, and then just just make those little uh, pyramid, uh, those those angles of the the two pages that it wants you to do, and everything. So, um, and then you know, once you get those done, and then the last two, you know, and just fold it back down, and then the last two pages are just are just straight down. It don't, it don't, they don't have to be folded or nothing. So, uh, and then they'll uh, just stick out past the uh, the cabinet. They don't have to be um, right on the edge or anything because nothing's going to be on the side of the cabinet or anything like that. So, um, so as you see there, it's you know the pages are just they're sticking off of it. Uh, just because there's really no room. And then uh, with the tweezers, I try to bend those pages um, up, you know, and I try to get the two ends down onto the cabinet first, um, just so those are secure. And then once you get those down, then you can just, you know, just press that middle down, and then it'll kind of uh, secure that middle point, and then you can kind of you know, since you already bent those other pages up, then you can try to get them, uh, get those shapes the way you need them to be. And then that's where you can move that end 
piece uh, over, you know, to where you need it to be and everything just to get the shapes that you need it and everything. But if it doesn't look perfect, that's fine too. But just as long as it looks like it's two pages sitting up and everything. And then, um, you know, so it's, you know, looking like it needs to be and everything. And then, and then right here is just where they're going to be placed, you know, just put some glue in. And then, uh, and when you're putting it down, just be careful, uh, you know, once you're pressing down, uh, just make sure you don't uh, push on anything that you don't need to, and then just push on either side. And uh, I think the holes were actually weren't too bad, didn't uh, weren't too tight or anything like that. So that's why I use glue. And then, uh, but that there you go. So I mean, there's your your cabinet with everything on it and your shelves and everything. So actually, it was pretty uh, not too difficult and everything. Okay, guys. I don't know what happened. I think I my phone turned off on me. Whatever. But all we did was just put these books in on these uh, separate shelves. I didn't use any glue. They actually went in pretty uh, easy. But then also they went in, uh, you know, not too loose or anything like that. So you didn't need any glue. But I just threw these in on here. So I don't know. I don't know why my phone stopped recording, but. Uh, but I just finished those up and everything, so now we're going to get to the fun part, which is putting, I think, these shelves and some other ones on this super long side and everything. So you just want to make sure your tabs are in the back. And then we're just going to go down the line here, and hopefully I won't need any glue for any of these. So... And then I always put everything in order just to make sure that I'm putting the right pieces in and everything. So 19, and then you got 20. <clears throat> always put it on a flat surface if you want to make sure it's in all the way. And then 13. And then 23. <clears throat> Not too bad, okay. And then the three shelves we just put together are going in. So. <clears throat> Don't want to push on the long arm because I know I'll probably break it or something. So, <laughs> so just try to push in down at the bottom as best you can. And then, okay, and then this one. Just making sure it is, yep, okay, in. And then we got a small little shelf right here on the bottom. to get on <clears throat> whoops okay and then finally our last shelf go on here let's put that down on the flat surface so I get it in okay so that's how that should look <laughs> looks kind of chaotic and everything so uh, but uh, but definitely more to come okay so now I just move this out of the way so now we're gonna put some other stuff together here so you get your one piece and then you got your F32 tabs just kind of put them in And the very, very bottom one is F15, and you want to make sure that the uh, longer side is at the bottom. And it's a little angled down a little bit. So you, the little notch right here is going to go into the notch right there. So throw maybe just a little glue there. I'm just going to lay it down just to 
Make sure nothing falls out or anything. And then you got your F16 piece, making sure you get the non stained side. And then that is going to go here. Well, that don't make sense. Set. Set. Oh. Skip one. Wasn't paying attention. Was not paying attention. So, after your second just single piece by itself, you skip this one, and then everything continues on. That's what I missed. That's what I missed. I didn't see it on the on the instruction thing there. See, uh, again, it's been a long day. <laughs> so, uh, okay. That on here. That on there. That on there. And then this goes on the bottom. Ah. There we go. I'm glad that thing was angled a different way. Okay, I think I finally got it now. Okay, so just to kind of cover everything. So as you're putting your shelves on, once you get down to the second, just individual shelf, you skip a hole and then finish with your two bookcases, two bookcase shelves and then a single shelf and then your final bookcases at the very bottom. And you'll know that something's not right because when you throw in this other end piece, none of the holes will line up with the pegs or the steps or anything, and definitely not for down here. So, whew. so yeah, we're going to put this piece in, and you gotta kind of angle it a little to get the notch in first before you uh, just slide that in there and it just sits down here doesn't really do anything this here is gonna for now So, so that's in there, that's in there, that's in there, and yeah, so only one of them was tight, the other ones were like super easy to put in, so definitely recommend some glue to go in there, so, and then these down here go in there little holes there that I didn't put no glue in but that should be fine okay now make sure you can see it all okay okay so next pieces so okay so I think this goes you get your little kind of divider shells so Wanna go there? So Okay. And then no. Oh. <laughs> Helps to put the books in the right way, make sure the tabs face into the back. And then they go in, yeah, okay. Just make sure it's level. 
Okay, so next is G2. It looks like it goes right into here on top of these tabs. And then G25. This one goes right here. So, of course, throw in some glue in. goes like so at an angle okay so definitely a lot of glue okay a couple small pieces so yeah. g28 up here G6 looks like it goes on the end here. Then ah, get your one little corner piece here on. Should just slide right in. It's not too tight or anything, so Kind of like a little corner or something. Mm. Okay, now got your G5 and it's gonna go into the bottom. And then this goes, you got a little tab right over here, which one I used, used initially for something else. And then let's see how that looks. Oh, <laughs> and then you uh, push that in all the way, and then these right here should lock in, and then that should go right up underneath that, like that. Should have a little shelf right there, everything. So, definitely a lot of shelves. Okay, so make sure your non-stained side is facing this way. Just throw the steps in. And then just kind of let them sit there for a second. This goes into there. And then Uh, you gotta have multiple hands for this. Okay. So, you put that in, and then you put that in, and then that one, and then that one, and kind of just line it up, and then I'm also gonna. Kind of maybe throw some on the these spots here because they're. Oh, right. no, that's not how these okay. All right. Then just line them up. Okay, and then just make sure they're straight. You know, they're tight against these shelves, level shelves right here. And then pretty much in between the two pictures, it's pretty much all of these are gonna be shelves or whatever, so. All right, so first, let's glue. Put our little divider on. And luckily, Yep, 
luckily all the books are the wooden ones so definitely don't have nothing to worry about or anything so okay we got our g9 that'll go right here got our little windows that are gonna go right into here okay. so the way they have it you just put it right up to the top should just fit right in here okay, just like that so then you have your next one your bigger one make sure the bigger trim is on the top and it should just fit right in, just like that. Okay. Okay, so you got that. Okay, so now we're going to be doing a bunch of pictures, or a bunch of stickers and everything. So, so the first thing is paper two, one of the drawings B. And don't think it really matters which one. Just grab one. And that is going to go... Looks like it's going to go... Right here in the corner. So, just put that down into there. Okay. And then next is... Kind of like before, had little curtains that we're going to be using, and these are going to go onto the windows and everything. So, put it up in the corner, just put it right on the edge, just follow it down. And just push it down, just make sure it sticks really good. Same thing. Right there, follow it down. Okay. Just make sure it stays right next to the edge it definitely goes all the way down fit all the way but or uh, all the way across so just just kind of put it in the middle and just do the same thing kind of right in the middle grab some of uh, your book uh, a books which is the smaller smaller books without the tabs and uh, they want you to put them they want you to put them uh, two sets right here uh, just stacked on top of each other and it looks like it was uh, three will fit in here really good so I just went ahead and glued them together 
and then just make sure I ain't gonna go nowhere. But it says you can uh, arrange them how you, however you want. So just put a set there. So now it's gonna, we're gonna be putting all of our books in, our little wooden books, like these. And there's like 20 of them that's gonna go in through all of these shelves right here. So I'll do the first couple, I'll show you, and then uh, I'll probably just put the rest in and I'll show you at the end. You know what the final product looks like. So. So we're going to start with these three here and I kind of put them in the order of the way the instructions tell you. So these 33, okay, so all of these are going to go down into these little spots. So all you're going to do is just, just throw some glue on the back of it and just place it down into the hole and just push it down to the bottom kind of center it and go to the next one and that's it just let it dry and so that's why I'm kind of liking these uh, wooden bo uh, books so you don't have to glue all the regular ones together or anything like that so but, but that's all you do just do that so I'm gonna go ahead and just do all these rest of them and then um, once we get to the next part then we'll continue on okay so finally got all of them done it kind of took a little bit but as you can see it uh, looks pretty good and uh, what I did was I just laid them out in the way in the order of how they were going to go in just so all I need to do is just pick them up and throw them right into the spot just covered all of these little areas here and everything so okay so next is inside the little areas right here and these are the wooden like uh, pictures or something but there's a certain order that they want you to put them in so You start with the one, and you just put it in there and just kind of center it best you can. Push it down. Let the glue dry. But so far, I haven't had any tr trouble with the glue because I've, I've touched it with my hand. So, kind of liking it. Let me uh, see if I can get more of it once I run out. So. Okay, so now we got five, five, yep, yeah. so we got five little pamphlets or something, so these will go up into here, down at the bottom. Alright, there you go. And I uh, just wanted to show you this one thing that I forgot to do while we were building this on the last uh, last section. So there was this little plastic piece that uh, I forgot to put on and everything. So um, there's just little holes right here and just, just put it down into that. Pretty simple and everything. But... Uh, just kind of forgot to put that on there so 
Okay, so looks like we're going to be doing some stairs. A couple different sets of stairs with some of those plastic pieces and everything, so we'll see. Okay, make sure that the straight piece is in the back. <laughs> okay, because you want the angle to be in the front. Just try to hold it together as best you can. If you need to kind of set it on its end to get it to stand up, that's probably a good idea. And then the next one goes... Next one, of course, you want the flat piece to be in the back, angled to be in the front. Okay, and then the last piece is going to go right here on the bottom. So make sure the tabs are in the back when you uh, insert it in so just make sure it's pushed all the way up and it goes all the way in so so these definitely are a little challenging to to put in but again just if you have them sitting flat And not too bad, and then you have your other piece, one, two, three, okay. So for this one, it actually is gonna go into the two holes and the bottom. So, this is just in case if, so that goes into there, and that goes, yeah. That goes right there, and that goes oh. right there. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to kind of raise it up a little bit. So that's how it should look. You got your angle part, your other angle part, and then kind of a straight step. But so I'm just going to kind of hold it for now until it until it dries because we're going to be putting on two more steps up here so definitely I'm liking this glue with the fine fine tip because it's like going into these areas like super easy okay so the next piece is G12 and it's going to go let's see here looks like it's the same so slide that down into there and then G11's got two holes if you notice it's got two holes on the tabs so just drop that into there okay and there so and it just goes right down and definitely not going in too hard or anything so uh, definitely have to be careful okay so just gonna let that sit, let it dry. So we have our clear plastic piece, and this looks like it's gonna go. You bend this right here. It's gonna go like this, and then the stairs. If you want, grab uh, some pliers. This is a very small piece right here. Bend it stairs to go up and your little tabs are going to go into those uh, small little holes and everything so you're just going to have to line it up just push it on down okay it kind of helps, helps hold the stairs in too while they're drying, but that's how that first part goes. And then we have another part. 
that goes on the inside, so just bend in that, make that a 90. And then those will go over right into here. Oops, it's not a 90. There we go. There we go. Okay. So that's how the little stairs is supposed to look. You got the little railing going around, kind of little walkway and everything. So, so not too bad. So we'll set that aside. Okay, now we're done with it for now. So now we got our little steps, and these are just gonna go into the the holes here, which, you know, as you guessed it, it's super easy to get on. So. Throw some here, and I'm just gonna do every single one just to. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yep. Okay. So your very bottom one is different because it's got the two holes in it on the tabs. So you get that on, and then the rest of them are exactly the same. And you want to make sure the tabs are on the bottom. Or maybe not. Let's see. It says tabs on the bottom, but they are not going in. Okay, so tabs up top. Even though it looks like they're supposed to be in the bottom, but they will not go. Okay, well that one goes. That's weird. Hmm. Maybe all of them except for that bottom one. It's supposed to have it at the... Yeah. Awful weird that that didn't uh, that that wouldn't go. Cause it is not fitting. Yeah, it's not gonna fit. So so we'll just keep it as it is. Hopefully everything fits. <laughs> we'll find out here in a second. But you just kind of go right there. They look evenly spaced. So. So now, gonna get our tabs, and they're all gonna go into all these holes here. So, of course, Start with the one side first. And just start putting them, putting them in. Okay. Oops. What did I do that for? Okay. I think they cut that one wrong because it won't fit. See, everything fits except for this one. I'm trying to force it in, but this one right here is not. You know what? I think they cut this one wrong because it's supposed to be on the bottom. And 
and it will not fit. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in right now just so the glue can dry. And then I'm going to try to figure out what to do with this other one. All right, so fixed our problem. So it was uh, the piece was not cut the correct way, so I etched out, used a craft knife, and um, I etched the hole down further, made the hole a little bigger, just so it would fit, because it was not going into the hole the way it was supposed to be, and still be straight for this right here. So hopefully yours is, is fine, and you don't have to worry about doing that, but if you do, that's what you do, you just get you craft knife and just just kind of dig down to the bottom and then just make the hole bigger uh, and everything because like I said you're not going to see it anyway because we're going to ready to throw another carpet over this so um, you know so you're not going to you're not going to see none of that so okay so before we get to that so these two pieces will go right on top of here. Right on top. Okay. Got your one side. You got G40. I don't think it matters which way it goes. It just pops right in there. Throw some glue in here, then we're gonna need it. So that goes like that, and then this goes right on the top. So and then kind of the same. same glue. And then this goes on the bottom into the hole and then just push that up yeah just push that up somewhere in so there's your chair um they really don't have a floor to put it on so just make sure it's level with your two stands make sure it's in the middle facing down and then, uh, and we're just gonna do what we did before. Let's just make sure it's so this is straight up, and then. Bend it down. And, and just like before, excess will just go over the top here. Just press it down. And you can always throw some glue underneath if you want. Putting on our other plastic piece here. So this will go into the hole down at the bottom. And, and these will go right here. Oh, is there a hole there too? Okay, good. So there's a hole there too. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that one. And then the next one, just bend it a little bit. 
and the same thing that goes in the hole okay and just lock it in place all right get your fingerprints off okay so there's that little stairwell and everything they just they just made the holes to fit the the table or the chair legs so and just push it down until it won't go anymore so and i don't think it's gonna hit anything else but you can always uh push it up to make it flush under the bottom just so it's not uh sticking out too much and then the glue is going to hold it and everything so okay so there's our two stairwells that we did so this is going to go right under the window right here so you get your tab right there and you get your two little holes and that's where this tab and those are going to go into if i can get it in here and that should just snap right in Felt like I was gonna break it. Okay, so that's in there like that. And then our other stairwell is gonna go into right above these books. You got two holes right there and you get a hole down here at the bottom. So, And, and then these, I'm not for sure if they're going in or not. Hard to tell. Okay. Okay, and I think I got it. There we go. So, the stairs should go right up. The railing should be right on top of that. And just push it in as good as you can. Make sure to kind of push it up to where it's right underneath this right here and everything so uh, just kind of let that glue dry a little bit and everything but there you go there's your two stairwell okay so got our next pieces out and I kind of already did some one of the main parts and I talked about um, you know that these shells were probably going to have our put together books and it's sure enough, they, they are. So it doesn't, you're gonna use your bigger books that you put the covers on. And uh, it doesn't really tell you what to do with it, but it just says, do whatever. And uh, so I had already glued them together and just put them on the shelf. And as you can see, some of them I just did, you know, just a straight row of books. Some other ones I just had them uh, face it out and then put them where you can see the spines on the end and then the other ones I laid them down. And a couple there and then I just kind of repeated it maybe in different ways books and there's some books on top and everything and uh, just made it a little different and this one you, you can only put like two laying flat so but but just make it however you want just you know get enough books where it comes out almost to the edge and everything and uh, I mean it doesn't really say how many but um, I tried to go out as close as I could to the edge just not the not the waste books or whatever so hopefully i didn't do too much or anything like that so but uh but yeah just do those however you want so i already glued them in um just to save a little bit of time and everything so um next uh is we're putting another little plastic piece in so Trying to find where's the hole at. There it is. And just have that climb in there. It doesn't have a bottom piece, but so you just put another little railing there. And then I got a little top piece here. So you put the G30 in first. So it'll go down into here. You gotta slide this all the way in. Just make sure it goes all the way down, almost right on top of the books. <laughs> okay, 
So you just put some glue down and it goes right on top of the edge right there like that. Okay. And it just fits nice and tight just like that. Okay, so now it's not dry yet, but it shouldn't be too bad for this next part. So now we're actually going to connect. And this is going to be interesting. Okay, so we are going to be connecting these two pieces. So you got your tabs here that'll go here. And it looks like these are going to go connect to right here. And that's going to connect right there somehow. Just make sure I'm in that. There we go. And you just got to make sure nothing. Uh, let's see how stuff is working here. It's in the books. Imagine that. All right. And then this will go right on top. There we go. Like so. And so you just gotta, may have to push it in on the side. Just looking to see if it's in. Yep. Okay, so that's in. And of course I hit the light. Pressure switch definitely uh, goes off. Okay, so probably should glue that, but might be okay. I'm not for sure yet on the bottom. So, so that's how it should look. Try to show it here. You got the stairs. You got the stairs coming down to the main level here. These stairs are on top of the shelf or the the little walkway right here. And then uh, these just kind of connect together and everything. And you just got to make sure to put this in front of the books. Make sure it's not uh, uh, in the way or whatever. And I hit the stupid thing again. Ah. Okay. So, but that's how it should be. Oh, we got our, let's see here, got our top piece, and definitely some holes and definitely some that are very thin, hole and dividers and stuff, so. so just pop that in there, okay, and then our next one. It's going right here and just seeing how then I'm gonna get this make sure the tab is on the bottom and just insert the tabs into the holes on both sides I'm definitely tight so I don't think I gotta worry about glue it goes all the way to the end as far as the books go so one two three four so we'll use five books make sure it's in there good so it has you don't have any room okay and then next you have your books d which is the bigger books with the tabs and there's only two of them so not hard to uh figure out which ones to use i'm just saying yeah so they go in like super easy so make sure your spines are facing out. That one slide down there. And then this one slide down. There. Okay, just make sure they're straight. And then 
Your next ones are your B's, which are your small ones with the tabs. So kind of the same thing. There's three holes, so there's three books going in. Don't matter which order they go in, just as long as you got them facing out. The spines facing out. Just be careful pushing them down. Just don't want to break that divider that's in between the books and all. So just be careful. Don't push down too hard. It should go down pretty easy. Sitting out. Okay. So, just have a book sitting here, and I wouldn't go past the back just in case it goes up against the wall, which I don't know if it is or not, but you have that. And then we're going to grab two papers off of your paper two, pages D. So, just grab two, it don't really matter. Just put, uh, kind of shows them overlapping, so. Just kind of put one like that. And the next one. Just so you can cover, you know, you want to cover the piece right there, so. Just kind of in this little trophy piece or something or another. So you have a square piece and you got some clear pieces. And this was uh, uh, one of the clear boards, the O. So... So this will go down into this, but then it also lock into there. So I would just push it down as far as it'll go and it should slide all the way up to the bottom of the curve. And then your other plastic piece should just go right down on it. So you're definitely gonna have to throw some glue on it to get it to stay. I think it's supposed to be like a globe or something, some type of award. So it just kind of looks like that. And now you are going to insert this into the desk. Anywhere. Okay, so. So that is that, that, that. You get your books on the side, books on top, everything. So I think that is done. Yep, okay. So we'll set that aside for now. So, uh, just like the other one. That'll go into there. this that's going to go into all three pieces so yeah they're all just lock in so i'm not worried about gluing it okay you got your two books b which are too small with tabs you're gonna go here And again, it don't really matter which order you go. I'm just throwing some books here. I didn't 
glue those together. Okay, so books A, which are your two, your small ones without the tab. So we're gonna put uh, some glue here. I didn't glue these together, so I'm just doing this on the fly here. So glue on top. Now, what we're going to be doing is kind of the same with that other one. With the other desk is get your paper, your your paper two again. You get two more page D's and I'm throw it. Put one right there. Okay, so that's how that should look. That is the kitty here. So, not too bad. We got our three scrolls that we built at the very beginning and everything. So now we're going to build the uh, container that these are going to go in. So... I want to do this and let it dry. Gonna have to center it. It's like a small piece, and then it goes to another bigger piece on top of it. Looks like. They're almost exact same size. Okay. And then to a bigger piece. And it's gonna like overhang a little, which is fine. So, just gonna actually, you know what? Just gonna throw some glue in the bottom. Actually, yeah. Just gonna put some glue on here. right next to each other. It's just depending on you know what you want to do and everything. So just kinda I'm just kinda putting them like that. Just kind of put them like that so it doesn't really matter how you put them in or anything but Rotate it around. Uh, sure, it's facing that, and I'm just kind of 
Looks like it's going to go just somewhere up into here. I don't really have any spot for it or anything. Should sit. It wanted you to to use some of these clear pieces, like our uh, railings for the stairs. There's some square clear pieces that you want. They want you to put some of the pictures on and everything. And I'm guessing to use that as um, like uh, portraits or something. And uh, you'll be using your all your your P's pictures that are down here off your paper one. But uh, just I already did most of them, but I saved one just to show you what I did. And that's just to uh, just get your clear piece, and then you can use your paper and just stick it on there, and just make sure it's gonna be even on the sides and top and bottom and then just press it down and there you go that's what it's going to look like so and then what we're going to be doing is putting three standing up along this desk and then two standing up against this desk so what i did was so what i did was i just put some glue on the corners around the edge of this one and this one and then just place that one right in the in between using like a little bit of space and then uh, once that dries here, and then I'm just going to set it up against the the block there, and then I'm going to do the same for these other two. So what I'm going to do it is yeah, just right in the middle. Goodness gracious. Okay, so I think. Yep. So that is it for part two. So. So you had this wall that we put all the books on. All the, the stairs going through. And then. Put the desk and the uh, there we go. <laughs> got some lights, some you know, got the desk, you got your uh, ladder, your scroll holder, and then you got those prints that we just put on the floor and everything. So, so that should be how the first two steps should look. Hi, everyone, welcome back. So, I was gonna be filming. You know, the next segments, this next wall, part three, and everything. And then, uh, once I got started, pretty much found out that it is exactly like the, the wall over here. <laughs> and I do mean exactly the same build to the books to the windows, uh, to the shelves, to the, the uh, steps, to the uh, railing. So, I mean, it is exactly the same 
So it's almost like you're doing this wall twice. Because if you look over here, books, windows, stairs, railing, and everything, and the books in the back. So the only difference, uh, there's two differences. The only difference is you get the, the one ladder right there at the top. You get the you got the ladder right here that isn't on the other side, it's on the bottom. And then you got a stack of books on this top shelf instead of the chair. That's the only two differences. But, um, but I did notice you may want to be careful on the back row where we put, uh, oh, sorry, where we put all of our individual books back here. Um, you may want to be careful on how many you put on this first section because as I was doing this section over here, um, I actually was running out of books. So I would uh, not go all the way to the edge on this side first, um, you know, just leave you a little bit of space and then uh, just go on down. And then also there's a, there's room like behind the space where you don't really see any books, but there's books there. Um, I wouldn't put any in that space to where you don't see it because you can just glue these books in the spot right here without having to push them all the way to the edge of this wall here. And I think that's what I used a lot of those books for is because there's a lot of books over here that you can't see that um, are being utilized, you know, for space, just so you can see the books on the outer edge. Where over here, so that it have as many, <clears throat> then I just didn't push the books all the way to the wall. I left them right on the edge and you can see like a little gap get a little gap right there and I just didn't stack them as high and then you, you don't really see the bottoms as much because it's got the stairs in the way and everything and I forgot to put that on the stairs okay so um so I forgot to put the uh, the carpet on the stairs there but I'll, I'll take care of that no big deal so but um so just be careful putting these books in in the back um you know and, and if it comes down to it you know, if you don't glue the the walls in or whatever, you can always just take them off and uh, whatever extra books you have, you can, you know, put them in on the ends of both sides or whatever. So just so you have enough and everything. So, but, you know, again, you don't really see, you know, all the books on the bottom half, you know, unless you kind of go down here and kind of see a little bit, but still they're, they're kind of in the corner that you don't really see. But But this wall here, Again, exactly the same build as this wall here. So, uh, so it's just the exact same thing. So I didn't film it because, I mean, you just watched me do this one. So uh, I just didn't feel I needed to, to put it in there. But then the ladder, I just glued the, the bottom feet and then just glued a little where it was hitting up here. And that was it. And then the books, I just stacked. You know, just glued them together and just stacked it on the top up there and everything. <clears throat> But then also, since, since I forgot to put the carpet on those steps, um, I ran into the same issue where there was one step where it was uh, cut out backwards, like what happened over here on this one. So, um, so you may run into that same issue over here. I was hoping it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen, but it did. So, um, so it's just something else to look out for too. So, but, uh, but yeah, so. That's how it kind of looks. So I'll get that carpet on there and uh, see what else I can do. And then also once you get that done, then there's just like a little beam that you put up here on the top to uh, kind of link these two walls together and everything. So, uh, but, uh, but yeah, not looking too bad. I mean, I kind of wish this side had a little bit more different things to, to put together and everything just to, just to make it stand out a little bit more. But again, it is a library. <laughs> so, you know, they wanted to, Put as many books in as possible so okay so i'm kind of taking a different level here showing you what i'm doing so looks like we're putting a little chandelier together or something getting all the kitty hair out so as you can see i've got all the pieces lined up of what's going to go together and it's by size <clears throat> 
each number went in order until a certain point and then um, went to the biggest one and then went back down, but still in order. So most of these are going to fit on to this right here, but you're going to have to glue them on because they're like super loose and you may have to glue them to each other. So we'll just see and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to glue this entire at least on either side. Okay. And then as long as you uh, have them go down the same way, then you should stay on here. And then you can always, once it gets to a bigger enough piece, you can always throw some glue on top and then work your way down. Just kind of keep it tight and you're kind of building up to a, you know, smaller to big and then going back down to small again. So, So I'm just glad that it's uh, a little loose, but I kind of wish it was a little tighter just so, you know, I wouldn't have to really worry about it coming off or anything like that. And I'm guessing the light's probably going to shine off it really good. So, But you just continue on. Making sure it, you know, same, keeping the same shape. Okay. And then, now that was the biggest piece. So now we are going to go back down in size. Just kind of looking here. I think it's hard to see, but it's, it's so loose that you can't really, uh, align it too well to make sure it's kind of keeping the shape but I don't really think it matters <laughs> so okay so it'll just get harder once you get down to the smaller pieces and everything and then just have to figure out how to keep it upright to uh, get it to dry which I haven't figured that part out yet. Okay. And then we're going to be building like a little frame for this eventually. So. Okay, a couple more pieces. And I don't know. There's one other piece, but it's not, uh, did I forget some pieces, or is this not supposed to be, okay, so I would say push it to where, it, oops, it's all the way flush with the top, because it's not, I didn't forget a piece, in the picture it shows it all the way down at the bottom. And then going all the way up to the top but this last piece is it doesn't have a hole in it to slide down so it just goes right on top so you, you have to make it flush with this upper piece here and just put a little little top piece right here Make sure it's level. So, but as you can see, it's, it's not all the way to the bottom like it shows in the picture. So I don't know if, 
I mean, wasn't supposed to cut it or nothing, but I would do that, and then we'll just see what happens with this. If it if this has a little gap, then uh, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'd rather have this be um, because it's going to hang, you know, like this. So you may not even see this little gap right here. I'd rather it be flush like this, but that's how it's supposed to look and everything. So now i got to figure out... Um, Yeah, there we go. I just stand it on its on its end. <laughs> so now we're gonna work on the frame that it's gonna go into. So I don't think it matters which side you go, it's gonna be the same either way, but this slides in up into here kinda easily. And you have like a little tab that's gonna go in here, so I'm just gonna throw some glue in to make sure it don't pop out or anything. Because this just slides right through just like that so so that's the way it should look now what we're gonna do is so you're gonna grab that that's just gonna pop in like there and then this it's going to pop in here, but then also on the sides. Like that. And then, kind of the same, this pops in here. facing up right okay <laughs> just making sure just make sure the little design side is facing out and everything and then start this and just make sure it lines up that and that one lines in with that not really using glue everything kind of is fitting in pretty good so but uh, but that's how it kind of looks for now. Okay, so now we're going to get our little top piece, J1. Going to flip it over, make sure I have it the right way. And then these all are going to go into the little slots right here. And then oh, we're going to be... Oh, okay. And then what we're going to do is put those uh, tabs in to, to secure it. And that one in. There we go. Okay. And then you just, just let it go. Let it release. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. And uh, as you can see, it's just on the bottom. These right here kind of hold it to the the top so it doesn't go anywhere. So if that's the back. So you get your two taps right here. Those are going to go into these two slots right here. And just like that. And if you want to throw some glue down, you can. Won't hurt nothing. Okay, so just like so. Okay, so now. We got all of our wires out. Okay, so those are there. Just kind of seeing what we have here. Okay. 
So what it wants us to do, because you should have two lights left in your touchpad, your sensor. So what they want you to do is push everything through this little hole here. And then we're going to go straight on up. this here okay and then we're going to do the same for this one Let's see this one's going to be a little tricky cuz it's a square and you can turn lights on off and on On, off, on, off. Okay. Let go up in here. And then the same for this one. Try not to cross them too much. But you just want to have all of these up as far as you can get them. Yep, there's that one. And you can pull that one a little tighter if you need to. So pretty much the small one. If I can get it here. Yep. So small one's going to go here into that hole. And then the next light is going to go into this hole right here. And then this is going to go all the way down into the end, down into there. So um, once we get all that done, then we can kind of come back and tape up these wires to <clears throat> kind of not have them move around as much and everything. So, and of course, um, You're gonna to have to bend the lights to get them to fit into the holes and everything. So, just see what we got here. Of course, just do the same. Just kind of bend it down, and then this will just fit down into there. And then you can use some tape, glue or tape, either or. And then just kind of cross over it. Keep it in there, and then I'm actually going to put another one. I have extra. They give you extra. So, let's put another one right here. Okay, so there's that one. This other one will be exactly the same. So I just bend that. And then, watch it. Oh, hang on. Let me make sure this isn't. I don't know where I was going on here. Okay. And have this go down into there. Well, you have the hole's bigger than the light so it just slip fits right down in there so again just kind of put a couple pieces of tape on it And you can always put more if you feel like you need it. Up, you're going to grab this piece here that has the little power button. And that's where 
your touch sensor is going to go. I just wish they would have put something here to kind of let you know where it'll go. But so pretty much the flat side is going to go right where that little button is. So you just kind of have to line it up and uh, try to get it to match where it is so I'm going to kind of look at it like about right there yeah like about right there and then I'm just going to tape it and this step it says to use as much tape as possible to ensure that this doesn't uh, come off and if you want to test it you can always you know, push through the light and then you see everything coming off and on. So, so, so once you have all your cords and everything in, then it wants you to fold this down and then you get your tabs right here. Uh, that's where it's going to go into. So just kind of push down the tabs right here. Just push that down. And you can hear it popping, so it's definitely not going anywhere. And uh, it seems to be kind of tight. And it won't go all the way to the end because there's another piece that you're going to put there. So, but. So, just to show you the above view, so that's kind of what it looks. I'll come back in and tape all these wires together just to make it a little cleaner. But then, uh, just to show the front here and just touching the switch to make sure it works. So, oh, look, you got the light going through the chandelier, which is kind of cool. So, but it's like everything's working. Okay, so down to our final couple steps. So our back piece, normally it wants you to <clears throat> install like the door on and everything, but this one has a little uh, accordion thing on the on the end. So really nothing to install, just kind of pry it loose. And then I just put these three uh, handles on on either side just to uh, lock it in and everything and then you just you just turn it to, to lock it to make sure it doesn't go or, or anything like that so and then the wires I just put some tape around one little area but I think the rest of it will be fine and <clears throat> you're not gonna see too much and then here it's gonna get pushed in and all that so so for here it's just lining everything up, just pushing it in, just making sure it's good. And uh, it's kind of loose, but I'm not worried about it too, too much right now. I may come back and throw some glue in and everything. So there's that. And then we have our front piece the back just line everything up make sure it's good yeah again may throw some glue on there it's not too not too loose but it's not warped or anything to show you know that you need to glue it or anything like that so uh, so there's that and then we got our dust cover that I completely forgot to one side and I'm just holding the edges so don't, don't get any fingerprints on it turn it around peel that off okay and then it should slide should slide right oh 
helps if you uh, have it. Yeah, see that? That's what I was saying about gluing it. It wasn't really going, kind of pushing everything out, but yeah, it's kind of pushing stuff out. So I may glue, I may end up gluing it. We'll see. And then once you get that done, then you put your uh, you put this top piece on. Let's see if it can go down a little bit more. Yeah. So then you put this top piece on, and it keeps the uh, dust cover from uh, coming out and everything. So so that's pretty much it. Okay. So <clears throat> we are finished our Beyond Library. A book nook and I uh, don't have the lights on right yet uh, but uh, actually it wasn't too bad um, it had a lot of pieces <clears throat> but two of the walls were you know both sides were exactly the same build so <clears throat> wasn't uh, didn't take as long as I thought but uh, I'll just kind of walk you around here first show you the sides you get your back get your little door here that you can open up uh, to get to the battery compartment and everything <clears throat> and then uh, there's just the other side and then the top doesn't really have too much you just got your little button to turn your light on <clears throat> and all that so I'll go ahead and do that I have to turn the lights on and that's what you got on the inside so got your staircases you got your railings that look kind of cool of course it's got a ton of books and everything and then it's got lights specifically in certain places <clears throat> one is there underneath that clear globe which i forgot to actually put in during one of the steps um but it's it's glass i won't say it's glass but it's pretty much glass <laughs> uh, but the light shines up through it which is kind of cool and then the other one is the light right above the chandelier um, to get the light to show through it so um, but but everything else though uh, not too bad though I mean tons of books everywhere books in the back books on the sides books everywhere and everything but I uh, definitely like the staircases um, you know coming down and everything like that so and then in the back there you got little uh, fossil sitting on the cabinet and everything and then you got some pictures on the ground and all that good stuff and but uh but definitely was a fun build and i like where the lights are and everything and uh but just something different you know and it makes it stand out a little bit with uh with the lights and the aesthetics and stuff like that so uh especially with the railings i like the plastic uh you know the railings and everything not just stairs kind of going down and everything so but uh but there you go so you're uh uh, mini city I think the company is mini city beyond library book nook so I uh, hope uh, hope you enjoyed it I uh, appreciate you watching and uh, as always please like share subscribe leave comments and I'll get back to you and uh, with that we'll see you next episode